Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a beautiful long cardigan here. And I also have free written pattern for the size that I'm making, which is size adult woman small. And if you want different sizes, printable version is available on my Etsy shop. And I will put all the link in description below. You can check that out. And I hope you enjoy. For this project, I'm using two colors of Lion Brand Wu Eth Thick and Quick Stripe. And this is gonna be my main color. I will call this color A. Okay? And it is 5 ounces, 87 yards per each skin. And I use, um, so I bought 8 skins. And I use about 630 yards, and it is size super bulky number 6 yarn. And here is the color. You can check in description below for more details. And this is the second color. I will call this color B. The same brand, will be thick and quick. And I bought three skins of this color but I don't use the whole three skin. I use about 235 yards and it is six ounces 106 yards per each skin and super bulky six yarn and here is the color and crochet hook size 10 millimeter Scissors, yarn needle, and stitch markers. Okay, before we start, I just want to talk about the pattern a little bit. So for this cardigan, we're going to make five separate pieces and then sew them together. And then we will add the color later. Okay. So first, talk about the back panel. And when we start make the chains, it's gonna be the length for the uh, cardigan. And you can check in description below uh, for the gauge and um, how long the cardigan for the side that I'm making in this tutorial, okay? Yeah, if you want shorter than that, you make less chain. And if you want longer, you make more chains. And when you make the chain for the back panel and the front panel, you have to make uh, the same amount of chains, okay? And then the more row you add, gonna be the wider of your cardigan. And like I said, in this tutorial, I make size small. And you can check free written pattern on my blog and then, yeah, the back panel and then the front panel, we make two exactly the same, okay? And then the sleeve, we make two exactly the same. And then we will start the cuff, I use color B, okay? And then the, the last is color A. And we will increase to make it wider Okay, so both make exactly the same. And after we have uh, five pieces, we will sew them together here and here and then sleep here in the middle and then here. Okay, and after that, we will fold them in half. And then we will sew here from the bottom. We will sew on the wrong side, okay? From the bottom up till you reach the armpit. And then continue sew the sleeve all the way down to the cuff. Okay? This side, exactly the same. And then after that, we will crochet the collar. Okay? And the collar, I use color B. And um, for this tutorial, gonna be part one. 
and the part one I will show you how to make all the pieces five pieces and then um, part two I gonna show you how to sew the pieces together and then how to crochet the color okay and let's get started Okay, I'm gonna use my color A first. I'm gonna make a back panel first. So, I'm gonna make a slip knot and then make 61 chains. One, two, three four five okay and when you make the chain make sure you don't make it too tight and I will meet you guys back in when I have 61 chains I have 61 chain here and for row one gonna be the wrong side so I gonna skip one chain stitch and then single crochet into the next chain stitch but I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch, okay? So you also can go to the normal chain stitch as well. It's totally up to you. So row one, skip one, single crochet into the next. But I insert my hook into the second bump here. Pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, you know and pull through. This is the first single crochet. And then we're just going to make one single crochet into each chain stitch across so next stitch one single crochet and one single crochet into the next just repeating this okay repeating this Okay, that's what it looks like and the reason I like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch because it'll give me a very nice edge here. Okay, so you're gonna make, keep making one single crochet into each chain stitch across. When you come to the end of row one, you will have 60 stitches and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row one and I have 60 stitches. Okay, and now row two, you're gonna chain one and turn, or turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And then the chain one never count at a stitch. And then we're just gonna make one single crochet into each stitch across. So just insert the hook into the first stitch here. up a loop yarn over and pull through do the same insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through repeat that insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through I just gonna repeat this Okay, keep making one single crochet into each stitch till you come to the end of row two and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row two, that's what it look like. And I have the same 60 stitches. Make sure to count your stitches every row so you're not increase or decrease by accident. And the row, row two is the right side, okay? The even row is the right side. The odd row is the wrong side. So now, row 3 to row 34, we're going to repeat row 2. Okay? Let's just chain 1 and turn. And then one single crochet into each stitch across. So, this is the first stitch. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. And repeat that.
okay so keep making this one single crochet into each stitch across and when you come to the end you're gonna chain one and turn and start new row like I said row 3 to row 34 we're gonna repeat row 2 all right and I will meet you guys back in when you come to the end of row 34 now I have 34 rows okay this is the end of row 34 I already cut my yarn so you don't need to leave a long tail for the back panel okay just cut the yarn just enough to weaving the end and then after I cut my yarn I just gonna pull the yarn through that's it and then I just gonna weave the end later okay that's what it looks like it's pretty big sorry I can't show you the whole panel okay For the front panels, I already make one because we're gonna make two exactly the same. So that's what it looks like. And then at the end, we're gonna cut the yarn and leave a, a tail, just enough to sewing the front panel into the back panel. Okay, I leave about 15 inches tail. Okay, this does look like pretty long. So, and then we're gonna start the same as the back panel. So I gonna make a slip knot, and then make sixty-one chains. So one, two, three. For make sure you don't make your chain too tight and I will meet you guys back in when you have 61 chains now I have 61 chains we're gonna make the same as the uh, back panel but we just make less row okay so row one gonna be the wrong side I skip one chain stitch and then single crochet into the next chain stitch but I like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch here. Insert the hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through. This is the first single crochet. And we're gonna make one single crochet into each chain stitch across. So next stitch. Insert the hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through. Next stitch. Insert the hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Repeat that. Set the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, that's what it looks like. And keep making one single crochet into each chain stitch across. And when you come to the end of row one, you will have 60 stitches. And I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row one and I have 60 stitches and then for row two we get a chain one and turn the chain one never count at a stitch and then we gonna make one single crochet into each stitch across so this is the first stitch insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through repeat that with next stitch insert the hook pull up a loop Yarn over and pull through. Insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, keep making one single crochet into each stitch across, and I will meet you guys back in when you come to the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two and row 2 is the right side okay and I have the same 60 stitches make sure to count your stitches so you not increase or decrease by accident so for row 3 to row 14 we're gonna repeat row 2 okay chain 1 and turn the chain 1 never count at a stitch and then do the same as row two. One single crochet into each stitch across. First stitch here. Insert the hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through. 
insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through okay keep repeating this pattern till you uh, come to the end of row 14 and I will meet you guys back in I have 14 rows here this is the end of row 14 I just gonna cut the yarn and leave about 15 inches tails just enough to sew uh, the front panel to the back panel this part okay yeah about 15 inches cut the yarn and then I'm just gonna pull the yarn out like so okay and next we're gonna make a sleeve for the sleeve I already make one because we're gonna make two exactly the same and then we will start make the uh, cuff area here uh, with the uh, color B and I made eight rows of color B and then the end of row eight I cut the yarn I leave about 10 inches tail just to sew this uh, uh, cuff area here okay and then after that we will change color we change to be the color A and then we will increase and I will tell you exactly what row you need to increase and then when you increase it'll make uh, sleeve get wider and the row that you increase you're gonna increase two stitches one stitch on each side okay we are gonna make two single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the last stitch that's how we increase and the row we increase we're gonna increase exactly the same and then at the end here you're gonna leave the tail I leave about 32 inches tails just enough to sew the sleeve into the uh, uh, the top of the uh, cardigan okay this part okay so let's get started okay for the sleeve I start with color B And then I'm going to make slip knot and then make 17 chains. One, two, three. Make sure you don't have your chain, uh, make your chain too tight. And I will meet you guys back in when you have 17 chains. I have 17 chain here. And then row one going to be the wrong side. I gonna skip one chain stitch and then single crochet into the next chain stitch but I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch okay you can go into normal chain stitch if you like so row one skip one and single crochet into the next insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through and then make one single crochet into each chain stitch across so insert the hook into the next chain stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Repeat that with next stitch. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Insert the hook into the next chain stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, keep making one single crochet into each chain stitch across. And when you come to the end of row 1, you will have 16 stitches. I'm at the end of row 1 and I have 16 stitches. For row 2, we're going to chain 1 and turn or turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And the chain 1 never count at a stitch. And row 2, going to be the right side. We're going to make one single crochet into each stitch across. So the first stitch here, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, repeat that with next stitch. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. 
insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through okay keep making one single crochet into each stitch till you come to the end of row two and i will meet you guys back in i'm at the end of row two and i have the same 16 stitches make sure to count your stitches every row so you know increase or decrease by accident okay so now row three to row eight we're gonna repeat row two which is chain one and turn and one single crochet into each stitch across so insert the hook into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through okay keep repeating this pattern till you come to the end of row eight and i will meet you guys back in so i have eight rows here okay this is the end of row eight and then i just gonna cut the yarn and leave about 10 inches tails okay and then i just gonna pull the yarn out and then I turn and I add the color A. Okay, add into the first stitch here. Bring the yarn out and then I'm just gonna tie the knot here. Tie those tails together. And then insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop and chain one. The chain one never count at each stitch. And then I'm gonna make uh, for row nine, we're gonna increase by making two single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the last stitch. That is how we increase, okay? So I'm gonna make two single crochet into the first stitch here. Insert the hook into the first stitch, the same stitch that we make uh, chain one. Set the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through this is the first single crochet one more single crochet into the same stitch insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through okay and then make one single crochet into each stitch till you have one stitch left at the end and we will increase again okay so insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through Insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, keep making this till you have one stitch left and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row 9 and I have one stitch left and we will increase into the last stitch by making two single crochet into the last stitch. Insert the hook into the last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Make one more into the same stitch. Insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, this is how we increase. And then I'm at the end of row 9 and I have 18 stitches. The row that we increased, we will increase 2 stitches, 1 stitch on each side. Okay. So now, row 10, we chain 1 and turn. The chain 1 never count at a stitch. And then, we're just going to do normal. One single crochet into each stitch across. So this is the first stitch here. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, keep making this till you come to the end of row 10 and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row 10 but I haven't made the last stitch yet. I just want to show you guys sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see the last stitch. So be careful, okay? So you can turn as well. So you see here, this is the last stitch. So I'm just going to make one single crochet into the last stitch. 
okay and the end of row 10 I have the same 18 stitches because we're not increase or decrease right all right so for row 11 to row 12 you just gonna repeat row 10 okay and then row 13 you're gonna increase again okay now when you increase you're gonna make two single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the last stitch that's what oh sorry that's how you increase okay and then make sure to count your stitches every single row so make sure that you don't miss anything or not increase more by accident okay and uh, the row that you increase you will increase two stitches one stitch on each side and um, I just gonna tell you what row you need to increase and the the row that I don't tell you to increase that means you just gonna crochet normal okay so row 13 you increase 17 increased 21 increased 25 increase 29 increase and then 30 to 38 normal I make total of 38 rows okay and yeah keep making this and I will give you written pattern on the screen as well what row you need to increase and you also check on my blog for free written pattern I think it's easier to uh, make a uh, sleeve part <laughs> okay all right so keep making this and I will meet you guys back in when I come to the end of row 38 okay now for the sleeve I have 38 rows okay this is the end of row 38 after I make uh, the last single crochet I just gonna cut the yarn and leave a tail about 32 inches something like that just enough to sew this part the sleeve part to the uh, uh, cardigan okay and then I pull the yarn through okay and now we done for the pieces and then next we are gonna sew all the pieces together and I will show you in uh, part 2 okay I'll see you in the part 2